Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, we have a new WBO flyweight champ. The vacant belt was on the line between Anthony Olasquega and Rico Kanu. And Olasquega scored a surprisingly quick third round knockout over the veteran. That's what they call him these days if you've had over 20 fights. Uh, Rico Kanu. Kanu is only 26. He's not a veteran. I mean, that was a silly thing to say, really. But. Um, He's a Southpaw fighter, 26 from Japan, um, 22 wins with 11 KOs, four defeats and two draws. But he hadn't been stopped, um, he hadn't lost since 2018. So we're talking, you know, six years ago, and he went on this you know, winning streak, very, very uh, impressive winning streak. Um, I think he beat one of the Inouyes, I can't remember which one, over 12 rounds. There was a draw in there, um, split draw against a guy who, didn't look like he had much of a record, someone I wasn't particularly familiar with. Um, and all his fights have been in Japan. This was over in Japan. He was on the undercard of the uh, Nakatani fight. Um, but he basically got done, just got caught, got tagged. Down he went in the third round. It was a sort of what they call a shovel hook, I think, a sort of uppercut come hook. Um, connected on the jaw, over he goes, couldn't beat the count. Now, Olazuega was, I don't know whether he was the favourite in this fight. I think he might have been. A lot of people did did put money on him. Because even though he only had a record of six wins with four KOs and one defeat, and the defeat was only two fights ago to Kenshiro Taraji, that was a ninth round knockout in a WBA, WBC light flyweight challenge. Nevertheless, um, Olazuega, um 25 years old, he's from the US, but he's a stablemate of Junto Nakatani, who participated in the in the uh, you know the main event over there. Um, and I suppose if you if you hang out, you know, if you train, if if you share a gym with people who are that good, then it sort of rubs off onto you. I mean, confidence wise, psychologically, mentally, it sort of rubs off on you. And it it showed because he came out twenty five year old Oliswager, orthodox fighter against the Southpaw just from the word go, exuded confidence, action-packed, throwing a ton of punches to the body. I mean, he wasn't neglecting the head, don't get me wrong, and it was a headshot that eventually knocked Carno out, but he was railing that body, I mean, trying to, like, chopping down a tree. He was like a lumberjack. Uh, and I think the first um, the first two rounds, I thought, oh, you know, uh, uh, well, actually, uh, the first round, it was definitely, definitely belonged to... Um, to um, to Olasuega. Um but Kanu was sort of competitive, competitive-ish. And in the second round, it really began to look like the writing was on the wall because Olasuega again chopping to the body, getting in close immediately, using his feet really quickly, up close and personal, bang, 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 with both hands, and you just thought this is looking kind of ominous. Now, in the third round. Kanu seemed to be creeping back into it because you've got the feeling that Ollis Wager had really sort of shot his bolt very quickly. Don't forget the 12-round fight, of course. And he was thinking, I wonder if he's done too much too soon and he hasn't got rid of Kanu. So maybe we're going to now see, um, you know, Kanu come on strong. Um, and it did appear that that was sort of happening for the first half of that third round. Uh, but maybe Oswego was just sort of taking a little bit of time out, maybe trying to be a little bit more, be a little bit more crafty, a little bit less cavalier. Um, and he was again; he was going to the, but the body was. It was so obvious that the body punches were hurting Carney. Uh, at the very least, they were stopping him from moving in. They were. He was trying to take a few steps back, trying to keep it covered up, trying to sort of shell up a little bit. Um, knew he couldn't do that too obviously and for too long because he was just allowing Ollis Wager to come in through the front door. But Ollis Wager, um, like I say, even though the body punches were the ones that really smashed up Carnu and, and sapped his energy, it was that sort of hook come up a cut left uh, that that put um, that put Carnu over. Carnu was conscious, but he was visually he was grimacing and he just couldn't just couldn't beat the count or he, he decided to sit it out. I don't think he decided to sit it out. I think he just, he was hurt and he just didn't feel he could get up in 10, within 10. But great win for Oles Wager. That was only his eighth fight and already he's he's got that vacant WBO title. 
Um, seven wins, five KOs. Like I say, only the one defeat, which was kind of a learning fight. I mean, you take on someone like Taraji, Kenshiro Taraji, uh, in only, uh, what was it, sixth fight or whatever it was. <laughs> Talk about a baptism by fire, you know. <laughs> yeah. So well done to um, Anthony Olaswega. Um 25 years old, got himself a world title belt. And um, Rico Kanu, still young enough to come back, but that is his fifth defeat. Um, he'll probably have to, it's snakes and ladders, you know, you go all the way back to the beginning. He's going to have to start again, I think. But, you know, still a pretty decent fighter and in exciting fights. And again, this is another example of how these smaller weight fights can be so entertaining, really brilliantly entertaining. So go watch this This uh, if you haven't watched it. It's on a top-ranked card over in Japan. It was on Sky Sports. Is it a top-ranked card? Um, I think they've got a connection to it. Japanese top-ranked card. It was on Sky Sports or Sky Boxing. So you go and have a look. Tell me what you think. And um, comments below, as always. And please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Help the channel out by subscribing. That would be great. And also hit the like button if you don't mind. Much appreciated, as always. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. And I'll get you later. Bye for now.